2022 question number one in the usual supply demand analysis if you remember when do we have a stable equilibrium the stable equilibrium happens if the price falls there is excess demand and if the price increases there's excess supply so if the price falls there's excess demand which cannot be matched the price will automatically go up and when it's excess supply and the demand is not there the price the price will automatically go down so take a look at n beyond n i have excess demand so the price will go up above n i have excess supply so the price will go down whereas in m look at this as the price is going up there is excess demand so it will keep going up the price so m is not stable n is a stable equilibrium that's option B, Bombay. Twenty twenty two. Question number three. Which of the following correctly defines the relationship between the variances of sample means for simple random values drawn with and without replacement from a normal population? Now you can compare two numbers like this. Okay. Now, obviously, n minus n. n minus n will be less than n minus one. Therefore, n minus n by n minus one will be less than one. This is often also called the correction factor. For without replacement sampling. In fact, without replacement sampling. brings your variance down and the population mean is more precise okay the estimation of the population mean is more precise therefore here the answer will be sigma square by n which is with replacement this is my variance without replacement this will obviously be sorry this will obviously be lower yeah option a the jam 2022 question number 6 for w to be a subspace of the vector space r cube what should happen for r cube i need to have three vectors in r cube such that the determinant value is not equal to 0 that will make a space or the basis For our cube, let's these two are out because two and four, one 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 two three two minus one one. Let's find out. What I'll do R one minus R two, R two minus R three. So R one minus R two, R two minus R three. Expand two plus three, which is equal to five, not equal to zero. Forms a basis of W. Determinant is not equal to zero. You can also check that the fourth option should be determinant equal to zero. You can just expand if you want. One. Minus four plus two two minus seven and plus one into minus eight minus seven. So this is basically minus three minus ten. Okay. 
be actually plus 7 so 9 into 2 18 minus 15 so this will be 0 right so if this is what happens this is obviously not the answer as i said the basis will happen for w w is in the vector space r cube so we need to find three vectors in r cube such that the three vectors are linearly independent three vectors are linearly independent and if that happens it will form a basis answer is c iit jam 2022 question number eight in the hypothesis testing which of the following defines the size of the power of the test size of the power of the test is basically one minus type two error okay now what is type two error type two error is probably probability of uh, failing to reject h naught when it one is true so here the answer will be accepting the null hypothesis when the alternative is true probability of accepting null hypothesis when it is false c okay you should not say accepting you should say failing to reject that's the ter that's the terminology that we usually use but this is the best answer that you have here iit jam 2022 Question number 10, a long run cost function exhibits economies of scale. Economies of scale basically means as I produce more and more, I get benefit of lower cost. So that means that the average cost of production should fall as the output increases, then only will I have economies of scale. So the answer is option C. IIT Jam 2022, question number 11. This is the equation y dash is dy by dx, y double dash is d2 by dx square. So, what you do is you basically differentiate this. So, if I differentiate this, what will I get? I'll get 3x square plus 6y into y dash is equal to 0. Then again, I differentiate 6x plus this is a u into v form. So, 6y into y double dash plus now 6y dash into the derivative of y that is y dash you can take 6 common x plus y into y double dash plus y dash square the 6 cancels out x plus y into y double dash plus y dash square is equal to 0 d IIT Jam 2022, question number 13. F goes from 0 to infinity. So this is my domain. And this is my codomain, set of all real numbers. Fx is equal to this. So F can be written in this particular fashion. x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 2 which is equal to 1 minus 1 by x plus 2. Right? Now, this is the format. This has to be on 2. Because for every different x, I'll get a different f. Okay, let f be equal to y, supposing. So, 1 to 1 is fixed. Now, whether it is on to or not, the meaning of on to is basically when the range is equal to the codomain. The range is equal to the codomain, it's called on to. Now, here, what will be the range? We'll just do it very easily. How do we do it? We have this. So uh, 1 minus y is equal to 1 by x plus 2. Okay. x plus 2 is equal to 1 by 1 minus y. x is equal to 1 by 1 minus y minus 2. So 1 minus 2 plus 2y divided by 1 minus y. So this is basically uh, 2y minus 1 by 1 minus y. So 2y minus 1 by 1 minus y 
that basically means that y cannot be equal to one because that will make x to be undefined and if that happens y cannot take all the values of the real number so the range is not equal to the codomain in this case because one will form a part of the set of all real numbers therefore one to one but not on to bombay IIT Jan 2022, question number 16. Second order difference equation, this is the equation. Okay, we can write this very simply as y n plus 2 is 4 into y n plus 1 minus y n. Okay, so n ka kya value hai? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ye value tak ho jayega. Answer nikal jayega. Y n y0 is 1, y1 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 into 4, 12. 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 into 4 is 32. 20, 32 minus 12 is 20, 20 into 4 is 80. 80 minus 32, 48, 48 into 5 is 192. So, 48 into 4 is 192 and this is how it goes now look at options option a if i put say n is equal to 3 9 square plus 1 10 10 into no this is not working out uh, take a look at this 1 plus 1 by n if i put n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 will be 1 plus 1 by 3 4 by 3 into 2 to the power of 3 that's not even a whole number so this one n is equal to 3 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 1 13 13 into 8 obviously not the answer you'll notice that option b will be the answer just put uh, n is equal to 3 into 8 uh, sorry 3 into 4 3 into 4 is 12 n is equal to 3 2 cube 8 8 into 4 32 uh, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 into 2 to the power of 4, 5 into 18, 80. 1 plus 5, 6 into 2 to the power of 5, 6 into 32 is 192. See, it's working out right. Answer is Bombay.